Oh, come all ye young maidens with notions so grand. Like ye, sure I thought I might go from the land. Me notions were high, but me chances were low. So I had to fall back on the bogs of Mayo. Oh, the men, they all think they have plenty of time. And they will not wait while they're still in their prime. They're well past the forty when a searching they go. For to bring in a wife on the bogs of Mayo. Oh, there's many a blessing that's spoiled by a curse. And as bad as the men are, their mothers are worse. The old women should be all tied up in a row. For the sons that they reared on the bogs of Mayo. In the morning and evening, I milk my red cow. I feed calves and hens and I boil for the sow. In the winter of father the cattle I go. And I stack the black turf on the bogs of Mayo. A man's labor reigns at the set of the sun. But the work of a woman, it never is done. To drink his black porter, Magonia will go. While I rock the child on the bogs of Mayo. And now to conclude and to finish me song. I hope all ye listeners will not take me wrong. For the cold rains may fall and the cold winds may blow. But there's plenty of heat on the bogs of Mayo. There was this lady, she was going out with this farmer, and her mother was very anxious that there be a wedding. The farmer, as you know, had the name of having the money and the land. But after a while, when she was going out with the mother was getting very worried about her, and she was saying to the daughter, I don't believe that, that fellow has any notion of marrying you at all, she says. And he was just coming up to Christmas. Now, said the mother, we'll have an idea whether he means to marry you or not. It depends on the present he'll buy you for Christmas. So the mother waited up late that night, and the daughter came in all excited. Oh, mammy, she says, he means marriage. He brought me a lovely present. God, that's the best news ever I heard, says the mother. Show it to me quick. He bought me a lovely watch. God, says the mother, that's great news. Show me the watch quick. So the mother held it out in her hand. God, said the mother, I don't, I don't notice he main business yet. That's a very light watch, and I often heard that a light watch was a cheap watch. I tell you, said the mother, another way how you'll find out whether it's a dear watch or not, with all the jewels in the back of it. Get me a knife, she says, and I'll open the back here, and I'll soon tell you whether it's a deer watch or not. So she got the knife, opened the back here. Ah, said the mother, he's only making a bloody fool here. So there's no works at all in this watch. Oh, that's right, says the daughter. I know now what he meant. Because I remember him saying to me when I was coming in tonight that when I come out the next night, he'd give me the works. Ha, ha, ha.